Good day, everyone. How are you today? I hope you're still enthusiastic to learn about my discussion for today. Welcome to my video discussion. In this video, you will learn about Module 3 or MELT 3 of Quarter 3 entitled The Moving Particles. But before I will start my presentation, let me share to you the objectives for today. We have two objectives. First, you are expected to infer the particles in matter are moving. Second, you are expected to describe an experiment that demonstrates Brownian motion. Okay, let's have a brief recall on our previous lesson. In our previous lesson on Module 2 entitled The Particle Nature of Matter, we concisely describe the particles of solid, liquid, and gas in such a way that we describe these particles in terms of spaces, arrangement, the movement, and its properties. I also explain the, the particle theory of matter and discuss one by one the main ideas which clearly explain the particle's nature of matter. Before we will start, our lesson for today. Let's have a game. This game is called as guessing game. Are you excited to our game? Okay, these are the mechanics for the game. First, you need to guess the answer of the five given questions based on what you have learned from our previous lesson. Second, each question is worth three points. If you got the right answer, you will get three points for each item. And the total possible scores that you will get is 15 points since there are five items in the game. This will be recorded as the assessment of our previous lesson. Third, choose the letter of your best answer and then write your answer in a one for sheet of paper. Then don't forget to submit this answer or answer sheets or one for sheet of paper on the next retrieval of the module. Is that clear? Are you ready? Okay, let's start the game. Question number one. Which figure shows the particle of liquid? Is it figure A, figure B, or figure C? Next question, question number two. Which state of matter has the strongest attractive force? A solid, B gas, C liquid. Question number three. Which has a definite mass but no definite shape? A solid, B gas, C liquid. Question number four. These particles of this matter are compressible. What state of matter is this? A. Solid. B. Gas. C. Liquid. Okay, last question. Question number five. What idea of particle theory of matter is described by the figure below? Letter A. The particles are always moving. B. The particles have spaces between them. C. Adding heat makes the particles move faster. Okay, time is up. This ends our guessing game. In this module, module 3, entitled The Moving Particles, we need to know some of the evidences that explain the movement of particles or how atoms move. And one of these is the Brownian movement. But before we discuss what Brownian movement is, let us know first some important scientists who 
experimented about atoms movement. One of these was Robert Brown in 1773 to 1858. Robert Brown was a botanist. He was the first to observe that pollen grains move in random direction when placed in water. What was his experiment all about? In his experiment, he placed a pollen grain in a glass slide with water to prepare a wet mouth. And as he observed this slide under the microscope, he noticed that pollen grains are in constant random motion, meaning the pollens move or moving in a random direction. He observed also that the pollens are not always moving downward or upward, or pollens are not moving in the same direction or one direction. But he observed that pollens are moving randomly in all or in different directions. But he was not able to explain what causes the pollen grains to move randomly. Later, another scientist was interested to know the cause or reason of random motion of Robert Brown. He was Albert Einstein. He proposed that the constant random motion of pollen grains observed by Robert Brown is caused by the movement of indivisible particles of water that collides with the pollen grains from a random position. Meaning that Einstein discovered that pollens move in a random motion because of water molecules. And these molecules collide or notch with pollen grains. If you could remember our lesson on the movement of liquid particles, and that is nudging and colliding. Albert Einstein found out that the cause of the random motion of pollens was the collisions of water molecules with pollen from random position. This explanation of Brownian motion serves as the convincing evidence that atoms and molecules really exist and that they are moving. However, this motion is not credited to Albert Einstein but was honored to Robert Brown. It is known as today as the Brownian motion. Brownian motion refers to the random movement displayed by small particles that are suspended in fluids or gas. It was commonly referred as Brownian movement. This motion is a result of collisions of the particles with other that are moving in a fluid. It is named after botanist Robert Brown, who was to observe the pollen grains move in random direction when placed in water. The question is, what happened really to the particles? Okay, let's watch this. In Brownian motion, what happened was the particles changed its path when another particle collides with it. This is the reason why the particles move randomly. Meaning, particles move in any directions. Randomly means moving in all directions. And the collision caused the particles to follow a random and zigzag motion. And to further explain what a Brownian motion is, 
We need also to know the cause and effects of Brownian motion. And what are these causes and effects of Brownian motion? Let's study this. First cause and effect is the size of particles is inversely proportional to the speed of motion. This means that if the particles is small, it exhibits a faster movement while a large particle exhibits a slower movement. Why is this so? This is because the transfer of momentum is inversely proportional to the mass of the particles. This means that the lighter the particles obtain a greater speed from collision, but a heavier particles obtain a lesser speed from collision. Another cause and effect is the speed of Brownian motion is inversely proportional to the viscosity of the liquid. What is viscosity? Viscosity is the quantity that expresses the magnitude of the internal friction in a liquid. It is also the measure of the fluid's resistance to flow. And the lower the viscosity of the fluid, the faster the Brownian movement. The higher the viscosity of the fluid, the slower the Brownian movement. To summarize everything, we have to remember that all particles of matter are moving. This is proven by Robert Brown and Albert Einstein in their experimentations. In their findings was synthesized briefly in Brownian motion, which states that all particles move in random directions. This cause of motion is the cause of this motion is the collision of particles in random position. And the best example of this event in our real life situation is the diffusion, the diffusion of dye or when dye is scattered in water, when perfume diffused in air, when coffee dissolved in water, and others. We also need to remember that the movement of particles also depends on the size of particles, the mass of particles, the momentum, and the viscosity of particles. This ends my discussion. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned a lot from my discussion. This is Mom Debbie saying thank you and God bless you all.